Situated in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, French Polynesia boasts a collection of more than 1,000 distinct islands. Among these islands, you'll find breathtaking landscapes like the majestic mountains of Moorea and the luxurious overwater bungalows in Bora Bora. French Polynesia truly epitomizes the essence of paradise, offering an unparalleled experience of natural beauty and tranquility. To kick off our video, we find ourselves in the captivating island of Tahiti. When flying into Tahiti and Teahupo'o in French Polynesia, you'll land at Tahiti's International Airport. Tahiti is the largest island in the region, impressing visitors with its massive mountains that reach up to 2,241 meters high. Driving along the coastal road offers breathtaking views of the island's beauty. Teahupo'o, a small town located about two hours away, is famous for its world-class surf wave, considered one of the heaviest on Earth reaching over 7 meters in height. It will host a surfing competition for the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics. While a boat tour provides the best way to experience the wave, witnessing it from the shore is also extraordinary. Next on our itinerary is the neighboring island of Moorea, known as the Pearl of Moorea the Sea. This place is simply breathtaking. Take a ferry from Tahiti, a 45-minute journey to reach Moorea. The island boasts stunning mountains like Mount Mo'u Aroa, resembling a shark's tooth, and Mount Rotui, which offers a fantastic view from the Belvedere Lookout. Mo'orea is a paradise for hikers, and you can embark on a challenging but rewarding hike to call the Vai Are, enjoying a panoramic view of the island's jagged peaks. It's hot and humid, but the experience will be worth it. For beach lovers, one of the favorites is public beach Ta'ahia Manu. It's a serene beach with sailboats and breathtaking scenery, perfect for relaxing and catching the sunset. Another must-do in Moorea is a boat tour. Even in the rainy weather, the tour is still an amazing experience. Swim with black tip sharks and venture beyond the reef into the deep ocean. The water is surprisingly warm. If you visit from August to November, you can even swim with humpback whales. You definitely want to return during that time to encounter these gentle giants. Morea offers so much more for you to discover. Next, let's journey to one of the most remote places in French Polynesia, the Marquesas Islands. This archipelago consists of 12 islands, with only six of them being inhabited. To reach the Marquesas Islands, you'll need to take a roughly four-hour flight from Tahiti. These islands offer a distinct experience compared to the others in French Polynesia. Instead of sandy beaches, you'll find rocky and rugged landscapes that bear a semblance to Hawaii. The largest island in the archipelago is Nukuhiva, and one of the favorite stops there is the Hatiheu Bay Beach. Its remarkable rock formations create an awe-inspiring setting. Another favorite island in the Marquesas is Uwapo, accessible by boat or a short flight from Nukuhiva. What stands out about Uwapo are its towering rock spires, earning it the nickname Cathedral Island. The locals performing traditional dances against this backdrop create a mesmerizing scene straight out of a movie. Additionally, the coastline of Uwapu boasts massive sea cliffs that emerge dramatically from the sea, providing unbelievable scenery. If you seek a remote and distinctive experience in French Polynesia, a visit to the Marquesas Islands is a must. Following Uwapu, we'll head to the atolls of French Polynesia, starting with Fakarava. Located in the Tuamotu Group, Fakarava is the second largest atoll in the region shaped like a rectangle and inhabited by around 800 people. What's fascinating about Fakarava is its unique landscape. Unlike the previous islands, Fakarava consists of a narrow strip of land with small motus scattered along the atoll. Exploring Fakarava by boat is one of the best ways to appreciate its beauty. Additionally, the atoll is renowned for its exceptional diving spots, considered among the best in the world. Continuing our exploration of atolls, we'll visit Rangiroa. As the largest atoll in French Polynesia and the second largest in the world, Rangiroa can be reached by a one-hour flight from Tahiti. Similar to Fakarava, Rangiroa offers incredible opportunities for diving and snorkeling, with numerous spots to explore within the lagoon. Next on our itinerary is the exquisite Tetiaroa Atoll. 
Comprising 12 little islands, this atoll is renowned for being home to the prestigious Brando Resort. In 1966, the late Marlon Brando purchased the atoll after discovering it while scouting filming locations. After his passing in 2004, the atoll was closed to tourism. But in 2014, the luxurious Brando Resort opened its doors and was named the world's best resort by Condé Nast in 2016. Access to the atoll is only possible through Brando's private plane, which comes with a considerable cost. However, if you have the opportunity to visit this exclusive paradise, you'll be rewarded with an immaculate haven. Now we'll venture to the Leeward Islands, home to the most breathtaking destinations in French Polynesia. One standout island among them is Mau Piti, a charming little island with a population of around 1,200 people. It resembles a miniature version of Bora Bora. You can reach Mau Piti by flying or taking a ferry from Bora Bora, making it an ideal day trip. A fascinating activity on the island is embarking on a three-hour hike to its highest point, which offers a stunning panoramic view of the island and the surrounding lagoon. If you're seeking a tranquil and laid-back destination, we highly recommend exploring Mau Piti. And finally, the iconic Bora Bora, the famous island in French Polynesia, and for good reason. The geology of Bora Bora is simply breathtaking. The main islands boast a majestic dormant volcano, surrounded by a protective reef that embraces a crystal-clear lagoon teeming with diverse marine life, including sharks and rays. To reach Bora Bora, you'll have to fly into Tahiti and take a short 50-minute flight to the airport situated on a motu, a small island on the reef. From there, a ferry will transport you to Vaitape, the main town. The views during the ferry ride will be surreal, especially under the enchantment of a full moon. While the most famous resorts are located around motus, offering unparalleled beauty and experiences, they tend to be more expensive. For more affordable accommodation, staying on the main island, like the luxurious intercontinental Lemoana, can be a great option. To explore Bora Bora from a unique perspective, spend your remaining nights and rent a sailboat. Sailing within Bora Bora's lagoon will be like having a mobile bungalow, allowing you to experience the island from different angles each night. One of the highlights will be visiting a sandbar in the southwest lagoon with its perfect curve and mesmerizing contrast between the shades of blue in the shallow and deep water. Snorkeling is a must where you can encounter peaceful eagle rays and friendly black tip sharks, surrounded by incredibly clear waters and vibrant fish. As the day comes to a close, return to your boat and witness one of the most beautiful sunsets on your trip. As the sun gracefully descends over the mainland, the beauty of these islands is truly beyond belief. Which of these top destinations in French Polynesia will you travel to first? We hope that this inspires you to plan your trip to one of these beautiful and mesmerizing islands soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Malik Travel, where travel and history meet.